today we're at the Funeral History Museum yes. in Houston, Texas. You gotta be quiet. I'm a little disturbed. Yeah. We just came in and the place looks really cool. I'm already like blown away in this first section. Yeah. Like, we um if you've blowing. seen some of our videos before, we uh, we always visit like famous graves. Yeah. And funeral and death stuff kind of interests us. Yeah. It's weird. I use it to help me get over my fear of yeah. death stuff. But when we found out that there was a funeral history museum in Houston. I had to go. I was dying to come <laughs> see it. It definitely got added to the <laughs> list. Yeah. So um, we'll take you along with us. The hair wreaths. Yes, we learned about these in, in Kansas, Kansas City. City. Yeah, I didn't think we would ever see one. Yeah. <laughs> Those are wreaths made out of human hair. After, after the person passed time. away, the family yeah. would take pieces of their hair and weave it into a wreath. Yeah. There's real it's, dead folks' hair in there. Yeah. It, this place is so cool. We've already seen so much cool stuff. We, we, and I've seen them out. It's crazy. So it's probably going to have to be its own video. <laughs> yeah. Because there's just the, all the famous people's programs. Yeah. The that, different types of vehicles. That surprised me how many program funeral programs they have. They have actual programs from the actual funerals. Like ticket to Michael Jackson's. Yeah, service. Uh, I can't even list them all because yeah. I can't even remember them all. And you can purchase copies of death certificates. That's crazy. Of famous people. That is that insane. That is crazy. Which and I read through some, learned quite a lot about how some of them yeah. died, what well, all the things they had, yeah. if it was multiple issues. It's crazy. Yeah, you read Walt Disney's Walt death certificate, Disney's. Ronald Reagan's, Marilyn Monroe's, Rose. JFK, um, yeah. and Juniors. Well, JFK, we kind of know. Yeah. I think everybody knows how he George died. George Burns. Yeah, a lot. They have a lot of them. So too many to list, so we yeah. have to show them to you all. <laughs> um, but it's just very interesting. All these vehicles from old time. They were very elaborate back in the day. Yeah. Like we have very sleek, modern looking yeah. hearses and stuff. But how massive some yeah. of these vehicles the and intricate they were. The, the funeral bus. They had a whole bus Unreal. where you put the dead folks up front, the family rides right in the there. back. The glass casket, yeah. the money casket, the three-person casket, the three-person <laughs> casket. Look, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this story, okay? Let's let's really shock Lauren and get a three-person <laughs> casket. She's gonna be buried with us. <laughs> look, look. Uh, while we're talking about this, I'll flash back to to some footage of that. But the three-person casket. These these people, yeah. their daughter died, and so they came up with a plan to for the husband to shoot and kill the wife and then commit suicide. So they went to the parlor, they purchased this three-person casket for the family. Yeah. Um, Custom made. Cu yeah, so apparently they, they changed their mind. They were gonna do it, they yeah. didn't do it. They changed their mind. And uh, like 20 years later, after the husband died, the wife went back to see if she could get the get, casket. Yeah. I guess ownership of the parlor had changed a couple of times. Okay. So she was unable to get the casket. Now they have the casket here. Yeah. Cool, it's probably the only three-person casket Ever. on the planet. Yeah, a lot of this stuff. Could you, could you, I could just imagine going to a funeral. Yeah, in those times and seeing these types of vehicles, mm -hmm. seeing these types of, of caskets. Mm -hmm. You got like custom-made caskets, a bunch mm -hmm. of custom-made urns. Yeah. Um, we're not. I don't even think we're even halfway through this. No, place I don't yet. think we are. So We've we're gonna see a lot more cool them. stuff. Yeah. Let's go.
first U.S. person, female, ever cremated. Like ever? Like ever. First female cremation ever. That's her lid. Jane Pittman. I guess they didn't burn the lid. <laughs> no, they kept that. And she's the second ever cremated person. First female, second ever in the Le Mans crematory. The guy it's, who came up with cremation. It's so bizarre <laughs> to be able to see this history. To learn the history of death thing ceremonies like we, like is, is pretty cool. Cremation is like a very common thing now. Yeah, I'm, I want to be cremated. I'm pro So cremation. to see the lid of the casket of the first person to ever be cremated mm -hmm. in the United States, that's yeah. pretty cool to us. Yeah. I don't know if that's cool to you, but that's cool to us. It's history you don't learn in school. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting. Pretty awesome. <laughs> oh man, I also want to talk about the, the um, well we'll go over there and talk about it because you got to see it. Um, the um, ash mosaics, the ash yeah. portraits. Icons Ooh. in ash. Since, and yeah. Matter of fact, since we're talking that's, about it, well, since, cool. since we're talking about cremation and we're standing in front of this lid, mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and talk about the portraits. So people that have been cremated, there's a place in New York, mm -hmm. a studio in New York, in that will take the ashes of your loved ones or your pets and make a portrait. It's an ash transfer. So it looks like a picture. Yeah. But it's made out of the ashes of the person in the portrait. Yeah. Super cool. And not just people, there's animals. That's what I said. Your pet or your loved one. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. They I had, mean, it's creepy, but it's cool. I didn't see any famous people over there, but, but there was like horses, dogs, cats, yeah. lizards. Lizard. There was a parrot. But there was couples. There was a father and a son. Portrait. Yeah. It's really interesting. And they're well done. It looks like yeah. a picture. Yeah. You can't tell it's ashes. It's so crazy. <laughs> oh, one of the coolest things um, was um, we talked about the programs and all that stuff, but yeah. over there uh, they had the boots of Robin Williams um, yeah. that he wore in the movie the RV. RV. <laughs> so that was really cool to us because yeah. we're yeah. RVers. <laughs> so that was really cool. It was yeah. sad about Robin yeah. Williams and how that all went down, but it was really yeah. cool to see the hiking boots he wore That's in the movie. Right. Yeah. All right, let's cool. go see some more. Cool stuff. All right. <laughs> Right now we're at a display of what it would have looked like had you passed through for a viewing of Pope John Paul II. Right, in the Basilica, yeah. There was people lined up for miles. Yeah. They show pictures all along the walls well, here of, of, of the actual viewing yeah. and stuff and, and people insane. just lined up in the Vatican City yeah. forever. Yeah. Just to spend a few seconds walking past in Paris, right? the viewing. Yeah. Um, several presidents of the United States were there for the viewing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pretty big viewing area here. Um, yeah. But this is a replica of what it would have looked like. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. yeah, the museum here does a really good job of yeah. of telling stuff and displaying stuff yeah. and explaining. Really, gives it you makes that you feel. feel like yeah. you were there yeah. almost. I'm, I'm Roman Catholic, yeah. so <laughs> and actually we've been to the Vatican. Yes, we have been. Uh, we've that. been to the Vatican City, so we were we were there where where this happened, yeah. but just not at that time. Right. Yeah. Um, so we've walked right past yeah. the actual spot. spot. Mm -hmm. uh, when we were stationed in Germany, we got to visit mm -hmm. uh, the Vatican City. Got some holy water from the Vatican City still. Yeah, still got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so this is pretty cool. This is yeah. just mind-blowing, really. Yeah. Still elaborate. more to see. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're talking a lot. But yeah. this is so, so cool. cool. 
I mean, we just came from, from the viewing part of Pope John Paul II, yeah. and now they have a big display on what the funeral mass would look like. And the Cardinal, who presided over the ceremony, the service, yeah. that's what he actually wore. Yeah, that is his actual garment. garment. Um, and so they have a certified letter statement. That signed by him, yeah. stating that this was what Sweet. I wore when I presided over the yeah. funeral of Pope John Paul II. That's crazy. They just do an awesome job of displaying yeah. this and making you feel like you're really a part of it. Yeah. Or like that you really, I mean. And doing it properly. Yeah. Like, it's not just. Yeah, it's done respectfully. It's, yeah. And very tastefully. Yeah. And it's just really cool. Very professional. It's crazy. You gotta come see this stuff. So cool. Yeah. I and mean, this is part of like world history. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. We don't have to whisper anymore. We're out of the out of the museum. <laughs> that was awesome. Phenomenal. One of the best things we've done so far, yeah. I think, man. That's, Is that it's, weird to say? I think it's top, almost top of the list of coolest I mean, we, things. There's cool museums out yeah. there, but this one really, <laughs> <laughs> man, so intriguing. And going into it, I was thinking like this is going to be a part of the Houston video. Yeah. But there's just so much cool stuff it's a big place that this had to be its own video yeah. um so what we haven't talked about so far is like all the presidential stuff yep all of the we did talk about a lot of the pope, the pope stuff, stuff but there was some some other vehicles after that and then all the the uh the different types of caskets that look like animals or spaceships yeah. or and i think it's a georgia uh people who do the the unique caskets. The unique caskets where you can get animal yeah. shaped ones. And I didn't stuff. read about it, but I mean, there is a ton of stuff to read in there. We were in there for almost two hours uh, just yeah. going through taking pictures, video, and, and talking about the stuff. And there was a ton of stuff that you could have read. Um, man, yeah. just the processes of embalming, the processes of cremation, the processes. Which of, was cool to watch that video of how the process yeah. of cremation when they push it in how it how they heat it where it circumvents through and yeah. dispenses into the bag and it talks it's really all about interesting that. yeah and then it talks about the embalming stuff yeah. how it started with you know the like back in the egyptians, egyptians and then through the civil war through american yeah, embalming how it history. Evolved. and then you know of course we got to stand in front of the the first cremated Person's female casket yeah. lid um, and the reason that we were able to stand in front of that lid because after we watched the process we learned that they are either transferred to a more combustible casket yeah eco-friendly or, or parts that won't burn well are removed yeah before it, has, they're cremated. it has to be wood or cardboard yeah you know to be low emission eco-friendly so that one wasn't I guess either they took the lid off to, to save it as a, as a a memento a historical memento uh, or it wasn't combustible enough to go through the yeah because there was metal 
stuff on inlay. it, so they may have just yeah. taken that lid off. But anyway, it, it was cool, and then all of the presidents had part of their programs. We yeah. Had, there's a program from, from Lincoln's funeral. The Lincoln stuff was awesome. There was a, a thing with like strands of Lincoln's hair. Hair. Yeah. Uh, they had a display of, of how, how his casket looked. How it would have looked if you yeah. had been there. Yeah. Um, the train route when people were standing yeah, out and watching. All the stops. And um, man, just so yeah. much. And it's crazy. Yeah. And then um, Roosevelt. Yeah. All of his stuff, which is cool because we've seen Roosevelt's history stuff. We've been yeah. to his house. We saw where he died. Mm -hmm. uh, so it all kind of ties together there. Um, they're working on an HW. Yes, area. it says coming soon. So he, he died pretty, not, not pretty recently, well, but recently enough to where they still need to work on museum yeah. stuff. But they did have the, the hearse that transported Reagan and Ford. Ford. The same, mm -hmm. same hearse. Um, they just have memorabilia from stuff that people wore at their funerals. Yeah. Um, man, it's just so cool. So much to talk about. But we can't show you at all because no. there's so much stuff. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> So you gotta come it's if you're a in Houston. Huge history lesson, though. It is. That's, I mean, like, schools should be field tripping here. I don't know if they do, but they should. <laughs> and I don't know. Maybe it's just us. Leave us a comment uh, and let us know if you think it's as interesting as we think it is, because I think it's really cool. Yeah. Well, as we get older, I mean, death is a part of life. It's, yeah. It's gonna happen. Yeah. I mean, I want. I think understanding it better. Yeah. And and rituals that not only different countries but religions have kind of makes it yeah less scary creepy scary <laughs> more yeah. peaceful and you know like you said you want to be cremated so mm -hmm. it, you got to see the process yes yeah, so of what that's going to look I, like I after you after it, you're gone and what this yeah. like. I think that's cool I did not know that a lot of cremation uh facilities have a viewing window so yeah. when the casket is put I didn't in, know you can, they can the family members can watch the whole process so it's I think that's really eerie too. yeah that is eerie but it's interesting yeah. because people always wonder oh well how do I know that's really yeah. my loved one whatever but you watch the whole process so. yeah and then there's some really cool ways of preserving your loved ones I mean they had the the tree yeah I, I'm a big fan of the putting them back in the earth yeah. and growing the tree. They had the pendants where you can have some of the ashes, which you have. Mm -hmm. You have a pendant with um, yes. Ebony's, our, our cat, ashes. Yes. And then um, they had this, the little glass balls. Yeah. Where you can put parts of the ashes in there, they make the ashes colored, and then it reflects the light. Like glass. I mean, you see these things at like the mall, like decorative yeah. stuff, but now- And you can have ashes created into a diamond. Yeah, yeah, like compressed into a, to into a, a gem. And then, um, of course, we talked about the ash portraits. Yeah, which were really which cool. Was really neat. Man, just so much cool stuff. Yeah. I mean, you have we, to check it out. You yeah. have to come. If you're in Houston, you have to come. It was about a 45 minute drive for us. From where we're staying. Yeah. Because it's, it's Cause we're north. on the other side of Houston, yeah. but worth the drive. Oh my God. Oh, it was only nine bucks to get in. It's 10 bucks regular. We got a dollar off for military. For military. But even if you got to pay the full 10, so worth the $10. Worth it, man. Absolutely. Because there's no way we're going to show you everything. But hopefully, Hopefully, it's interesting enough yeah. for you to come and see if you're in the Houston area, or even if you're passing through Houston. It yeah, it's a good stop over. Don't pass it up. <laughs> really, I wouldn't pass it's it up. Really cool. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoy the 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 museum of funeral history. Yeah. Like I said, I think it's one of our favorites so far. Yeah. And um, so I'm glad that we we're we were able to see enough and put enough together to make a whole video out yeah. of it. And um, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor fallen hero. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.